good morning guys and welcome back to my channel so if i sound a little off i am sorry i am currently getting over a cold but i have so much stuff to do today because i am baby free and i have three properties to tour so i just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's happening so three years ago i did buy this building for four hundred and eighty five thousand dollars i renovated the whole thing i'll put a little video of what it looked like when i first got it and now three years later it is worth seven hundred thousand dollars um, you guys saw my last house tour on like how I renovated it. And then three years ago, the same time that I bought this building, I also bought myself a dream car, which was my BMW and I bought it for $70,000. And now today that car is only worth $30,000. So in three years, my property has gone up in value by 200,000 and my car has gone down in value by 30,000. So I have made the decision to sell my dream car and trade it in for a used mom car. I did get a Mazda CX-5. I'll put some pictures of it. So I sold it, my car for $40,000 and then I got this used Mazda for twenty, dollars and then I got a check back for twenty. dollars So with the leftover money, I am going to be buying another property and flipping it and selling it. So that is something that I have never done before. I did flip this building, but I live in it. I've never flipped a property like to actually sell it. So I am super excited and also very nervous because it's something I've never done before. But you guys do know that I don't have a regular job. I don't have like a nine to five job that I go to every day. I went from working at the club to doing YouTube full time to now being a stay at home mom. So I feel like I just need like something more like financially stable, something really more to rely on because obviously my views on YouTube are not the same. So I don't make the same money as I used to from it, which I knew inevitably would happen. So this is something that I just want to share with you guys because maybe you're in the industry and you want to get out of it or maybe you are are also a mom and you just want like a way to you know make money for you and your kids or you know just anybody who wants to take care of themselves and learn this um you are going to be learning along with me because this is something that i have never done before and i'm just kind of going to be learning and teaching you guys so i would definitely recommend saving as much money as you possibly can first um i know it's not going to be easy but i know it's also not impossible because i did get this building with less than three thousand dollars down so, you know, it's something that you could definitely do. But like I said, try to save as much as you can and then also try to pay down your debt if you have debt as much as you can. Speaking of debt though, I do want to thank my sponsor of today's video, which is PDS Debt. We all know that debt is super easy to get into, but it is not that easy to get out of. So if you do struggle with credit cards, personal loans, medical bills, or collections, then you definitely need to check out PDS Debt because they will make all those payments into one low monthly payment that is customizable and you do have different options. Especially if you're someone who has been making payments every single month, but your balance is not going down this is a way for you to save thousands of dollars on interest and fees and also pay that debt off faster you just have to have ten thousand dollars or more in eligible debt and your credit score doesn't really matter you can have good or bad credit so if you do want to get your free debt analysis you can go to pdsdebt.com slash christina and go on the website it literally takes 30 seconds to just answer a few questions they are a top rated company on google and rated an a plus by the better business bureau and i do wish that this is something i personally would have done because it is a great way to consolidate your debt like you guys see i literally don't want any debt i even sold my car to get a used mom car to have that cash so it is super super important to try to minimize your debt as much as possible especially if this is like something that you want to take on whether it is like doing something in real estate or just anything in your life it is definitely going to come into play so if you guys want to check that out i would definitely recommend it but without further ado guys let's go and tour these properties okay you guys my dad is here to pick me up this is my outfit and this is my messy ass glam room yeah you guys i'm sick and my life in my room is a mess right now but let's just tour these properties okay so this is the first property you guys we just pulled up there's no running water here and whoever buys it might have to clean it out similar to there's no running houses. water inside the house right oh okay
Just imagine that people live like that. Yeah, there's someone living here right now. That's fucking amazing. Okay, you guys, so we just left the very first property, and as you guys can see, oh, it was so it horrible. I feel so bad for those animals. One dog was missing a leg. The whole place was disgusting. It was full of pee and poop. They don't even have running water, so they can't even flush the toilets. They only let us see such a small part of the house. We weren't allowed to go upstairs or downstairs or to the front of the house because they said that there was someone sleeping there. I don't know, I don't believe it. I feel like either it's really really bad in those rooms so they don't want people to see and if there is someone living there i don't know how someone can live there with no running water there's so many animals in there i don't know there was at least what like six dogs right and i saw a cat there was birds inside of cages i just really hope that no children live there and also i feel like that's animal cruelty so i don't know if we could like call the town or like there's a way to report it but that just made me really sad and literally, I feel like I was gonna throw up just the stench. So we're gonna go tour the second one. That one's no longer an option for us, but I just feel really sad that people are living like that. Okay, you guys, we're at the second property and there's also people here touring it. So let's see. This is the garage. Yeah. This is the garage. This is the garage, but... um. This is probably not correct because I would imagine that needs to be like insulated because otherwise when you have the cars running in here and the furnace running, it's going to be sucking in all that carbon monoxide. I would um, imagine and blowing it upstairs. And then for the winter, you, yeah, you would need to insulate that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's the kitchen, the living room, the bathroom, and then, um, and that's it. It's literally like a, a, it's like a little condo. Yeah, it's literally a condo on top of a garage on a lot, like a house. Interesting. And then this is, this it? Yes, is it? That's it. That's the house. <gasps> oh my God. There's no up or down. No, no, this is it. Oh my God. Yes. This Dang. is it right here. My apartment's bigger. I'm surprised. Dang. It looks bigger from the outside, but it's all garage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean here, I would probably just eliminate the garage. And, and make it into a house, right? Yeah, have downstairs like a, you know, like a lower level area, clean it up. And you could just park your cars in the driveway. Yeah, because basically it's just a garage on top of a little apartment okay guys so we just left the second property it's getting a little better um there was really nothing wrong with it like how the first one was like crazy but it's just very very tiny so that's not really what we're looking for once you fix it up it's not going to be worth the money that you put in so now we're going to tour the final property which from the pictures we've seen it looks like it's the best one so we started with the worst and now we're going to see the final one that's the best one hopefully it's um like has some potential Cause so far these two have not had potential so yeah you guys i feel like i still smell the smell of the first house and like i can't get it out of my head but I'm about to go to the third one we just got to the third property this one looks the nicest and the most promising and it's in like a cute little area okay it's big it's actually a house so this is the living room dining room Bedroom. Closet. Second bedroom. Tall ceilings too. Yeah. 
Yeah, really. Yeah. Very spacious. Kitchen. Yeah. I like it. Oh, look. The handles are spoons. Mm. <laughs> That's funny. Uh -huh. That's cool. And then the bathroom. The bathroom is big. It's big, yeah. And look at the tall ceilings. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the? Oh, I thought it was a... Okay, so it's a little closet. Oh, it's a little walk-in closet. I really like it. Oh, okay. So there's three, three, yeah, three, three bedrooms, bedrooms on the main level. And then, of course, you still have the whole basement. Um, Is there something wrong with the foundation? It looks like it needs a little bit of repair. For you to build out like a bathroom down here, it needs to be, uh, there needs to be like seven feet of height. And the the joists are literally like right here, so. You can't even go up that much high. Not really, I mean, you can leave it exposed, but you see how the joists are right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, here it is, it's exposed here, so. Oh. Yeah, to give it the illusion that's a little higher, you could just open it up and paint it. It's gonna have to be basically a, a, a basic basement without a bathroom. Yeah. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just clean it up. Yeah. And you add some lighting down here. I would probably even leave this exposed and just yeah, and just paint it black. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and then the future buyer can do, do what as they, they want. please after they buy the property. Okay, you guys, it is the next day. Um, yesterday was Saturday, so today is a Sunday. Um, out of the three properties that we toured yesterday, obviously only one of them was a potential. So we are going back to the third property that we saw yesterday that we actually liked. Um, and we're going back with a contractor to get a quote on how much it's going to be to do everything so we can see if the numbers actually make sense to buy that property and like fix it up and resell it. So I guess that's step two. Step one is finding the property that like makes sense. And then step two is actually getting the quotes on how much it'll be to do the work because it does need quite a bit of work. Um, on the inside, it's mostly cosmetic, but on the outside, it's like a lot more stuff. So we're gonna go see how that goes. And then I'm gonna get Aziz back tonight too. And I'm still sick, but I miss my baby. So let's go guys. Here we are back with the contractor at the third property. He's just looking at all the rooms. He looks at the inside and outside, and then he's just gonna give us a quote for how much it's gonna cost to do everything. And then from there, we have to decide if it makes sense to buy that property. Okay, you guys, I'm about to start heading home right now. Basically, the contractors came and looked at the property and they have to write up a quote on how much everything is gonna cost. So they'll probably call us either tomorrow or sometime during the week to give us an estimate on how much it's going to cost to do all the work. And then from there, we have to determine whether or not it's worth it. Um, I really don't feel good right now, you guys. I'm really sick. So um, I do also get the baby back tonight. So right now, I'm just going to go to the car wash really quick and clean my car. And then I'm going to go home and clean my house and then hopefully shower before the baby comes. So I will see you guys once I get back to the house. Okay, you guys, I just finished showering and cleaning my whole house. We have a little toilet here because we're going to start potty training Aziz. But I just wanted to quickly show you guys around because this is such a rare moment that my whole house is cleaned and all the candles are lit. Even Aziz's little bed and everything is made. So I'm excited to just sit in the living room and watch Bridgerton because I have not seen it yet and I've heard everyone talking about it and fold my laundry. Um, if you guys are new moms or just moms in general, you know it's super rare that you get the whole house to yourself, cleaned, quiet, and showered with no kids. So I'm going to enjoy the next two hours while I watch my show and fold my clothes. Okay, you guys, I'm just going to end the vlog here. I know I look crazy right now. I'm just wearing like 
my whatever PJs. But um, the boys are about to be here, so I just want to end the vlog and just say like a little statement before I leave. Because as you guys see, I am actively looking for a property to renovate and flip. So if you or someone you know has a property that needs work done to it and you don't want to do the work, or you know someone or your property is going into foreclosure and you just want to get rid of it, we are cash ready to buy. You can either DM me on Instagram or one of my realtors i'll have them both linked down below so that would be so perfect if i was literally able to buy it from one of you guys that would be crazy but i am definitely open to that so sometimes those are like the best deals someone you know so definitely let me know below um i will also have javi and carla's instagram linked below as well those are my realtors and my mentors that are kind of helping me along the way on this journey so i'm um, going on the journey with them and hopefully taking you guys with me and i want to be able to help somebody one day like how they helped me yeah you guys i hope you liked this video um let me know if i could buy your house and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you